Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Critical, and welcome back to episode 2 of Comic Craft on the Comic Craft servers. A lot of people online today. Um, this is quite a few days after the last episode. I've been working on some stuff on streams and such. You can see here I've got a little bit of a, a cliff face in. Um, this is probably going to surround like our whole base, this kind of cliff design. Uh, but we're not going to work on that in episodes too much. Uh, and right now this is just like a rough version. I'm going to add some waterfalls and foliage and stuff around it. Uh, and this has got to go so that you can actually see the full cliff because you can see it goes way down to here. But that is not the focus for today. The focus for today is that thing up there. That is the outline for our uh, nuclear power tower, the first one, or the cooling tower, as I've finally remembered is what they're actually called. Uh, I've been trying to figure out for days what those things are actually called. I finally just Googled it last night, and it's Cooling Tower. So, first Cooling Tower is about to get started. We're going to go ahead and jump into a time lapse, but I wanted to show you guys first all of the resources that I've gathered over the past couple days. So, I've been doing a ton of strip mining, just trying to get stone for this build. And during that time, I have collected so many resources. Uh, you can see this is all of our building materials that we're probably going to fly through today. Uh, and I've got some other things over here as well. Uh, but, I saw some potatoes in here I need to get. But, uh, this is our main thing here. This is pretty crazy. So I think if we go to statistics, we can see, let's see, items. Let me see if I can find diamonds here real quick. Aha, there they are. Um, yeah, diamonds, 243 diamonds picked up. What is this number? 217 times mined. That's a lot. Oh, because I was using, so I've got a silk touch pick. I've been picking them up with silk touch and then bringing them back here and using fortune. That's why that number is so high. But 243 diamonds is our total number of diamonds that we've picked up. I have of course crafted a bunch of armor and stuff and I've been repairing my tools as I go. So that's not all that I had, but, um, Let's go ahead and jump into this time lapse because we have a lot of work to do on this today and I'd like to go ahead and get this whole tower in place. So let's jump into a time lapse and see how far we can get.
All right, so that is about halfway done now um, for the whole height of the thing. I ran out of coal ore, so I actually got to go grab a couple more stacks of that. As you can see, I'm using this kind of a transition block between the coal, or sorry, between the cobblestone and the stone. Um, but to kind of talk about what's happening here, this is now actually visual, so you can see. Uh, so we've got four main textures. We have basalt, cobble, stone, and light gray concrete. And then we have three transitional blocks. So I'm using the tilted black stone here. We're using the coal ore there, and then we're going to be using iron ore up at the top, uh, which I'm actually going to have to get more of that as well, I'm realizing. Um, those are kind of to just fade better between the different colors. You can see it looks a lot better when we do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm about, I'm about halfway through of what we're gonna do. Basically after that coal right there, there's another 20 blocks of stone. And then just after the stone, there's the iron ore that's gonna do this thing again. And then we have about 10 blocks of light gray concrete. Um, we are gonna be adding in some like bands of smooth stone, not this, not this smooth stone, but like the actual polished smooth stone that you have to cook. We're gonna be adding in some rings of that on the edges every probably 10 blocks or so. Um, so that'll kind of break this up just a touch as well. And at the top, we're also gonna have to have it curve out again, I guess, and we might do a layer of it up at the very, very top. Um, but we shall see. I also have to get the stilts in place down here at the bottom, but I haven't come up with any designs for those yet. Uh, but I'm gonna go grab some more coal ore, and I think in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys that footage I should just take all these because I probably am going to need these in the future. We have a new data pack installed that lets us cook rotten flesh into leather. Um, I also realize you can look here to see all of our data packs. So we have all of these different things involved. Um, yeah, we added, where'd it go? I don't actually know where it went. It may not be on this page. Uh, we do have one that lets us cook rotten flesh into leather, which has been pretty nice. Uh, but anyways, rambling on. Um, I'm going to go gather that coal ore and I'm going to show you guys the nether footage that I recorded with Wolfie and Hazard earlier this week while we're doing that. So I will meet you guys back here after you've checked that out. So that was the last one though, I think, as far as I know. Yeah, yeah. that's the last is. time I ever saw any Shrek movie. Because uh... I watched the marathon. Hey, it's Bronzy's farm. It looks way better in the shader. Oh, is this where Bronzy set up? Yeah. Hey, you just hear my oh. voice, like, trample, trample, trample. I'm gonna just admire. I just don't even look any different. Never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna admire. I mean, it doesn't look any different. Never mind. Oh, the ocean! Give me a lo look at that lava. Look at the glowstone. Wait, that's so pretty. I almost jumped into the lava because I thought it was pretty. Hey, hey, hey. You're Why are you hitting me? Fruit. Use your shield. I did. That's the thing. Just put on your armor. He did. He's wearing your armor now. <laughs> And he's looking at something else of yours. He's holding it like it's his. Oh, the uh, gold ingots. He's going to trade with it. I'm not bartering. He just, he's bartering with your gold. Yes. This is my gold. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, I thought you. All right. All right. All right. That bitch. We're, tonight, we're going to defeat the Ender Dragon. No, we're not. Stop. I need to. Oh. Well, I got, we got a stuff back. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay, on my um, way back. I have some. Okay, we're, should we head back to the portal then? Uh, probably. I was like not looking at my screen. I almost jumped into two pits of lava. Mm. So, I'm actually. Did the guy take my sword? Uh, we got it. Don't worry. She hasn't. I had to kill an uh, uh, Enderman real quick. For an Enderman. I'm coming now. Dog, you can run through him. I can't. Oh, now you can. Um, wait for him, wait for him. Yeah. Hey, quartz. You want me to go out of the quartz? Wait, wait, where'd you? I'm, gu I'm guessing y'all are through. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come back. Up this way. Okay, to talk. your left. Turn, turn, <laughs> turn. <laughs> directly <laughs> back behind you. Oh my god. Dude. 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 Oh. Oh my goodness. Look at the baby penguins. Oh my God, they're, so they're so cute. Burn them alive. <laughs> I don't think they can burn. I could be wrong though. Whoa. Yeah, you can see super far without the fog. 
Hold on. Well, if you're saying it looks better without the shaders, I guess I can turn it off for now. I would say for the nether just to be safe for How do I, just turn, it How do I turn it off Wait. again? Oh, oh. It's it... What? What's your problem? Holy crap, I can see. I'm yeah. Man, so much for making it look realistic. It literally looks like, you know, one of those, like, sandbox, like, Subnautica things when they're looking at that base, like, in the lava area? I've never played Subnautica. You probably don't, but, um, okay, you're gonna have to be careful in this area. There's lots of lava. Boop, 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 boop. Jump. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to build for you! Hey, I'm good. <laughs> okay, crouch! You know what? Bang. Crouch here. Hey, you almost crouched me off. Crouch here. Oh, Crouch down. Crouch here. Okay, ready? Jump. Whee! If you'd have died Go just ahead. then, that would have been the best thing yeah, yeah. that ever happened. Oh, man, that is a lot. Hey, I would have, actually, I could have probably uh, Can we fight some, uh, hey, can I have? Uh, can I have this? Have what? This is what I want for my lair. Oh, yeah, I mean, tear it down. I don't think anybody's gonna care. I don't think anybody plans to build here. As long as you don't break the spawners, I'm sure people want to build farms out of those. I got you. Oh, there's another wither skull. Okay, get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. Oh, it hit me. Get no. in here, get in here. I think you're supposed to get in there. I, hey, guys, I'm a burnt chicken nugget. <laughs> oh, no, you died. I didn't even notice. All right, I'm on my way back. I got this. Um, I don't think we can make it back here, so I'm just going to hold your stuff. Can you come back here? Because I'm kind of stuck oh, yeah. here. I'm on my way. I'm gone. I got this. I got. This. I can see now. Um, I'm kind of like, I don't know where you are. Oh, I can I can figure it out. I can remember. Oh, wait, this is smart to like evade. Um. Yeah, to avoid the, the stuff. Uh, by the way, I dropped most of your pickaxes because I don't need them in my inventory. Wow. By the way, I'm just like, taking everything in these chests and we can distribute it right, when we get I'm back. I'm looking around the front. Yeah, I remember. just want like the name tags. If Oops, there's any that other places. I don't I like remember. We... I feel like we did. We did we go? Dude, dude, dude. What do we do? There's four. There's three over there and there's one on the roof. Those four over there uh, by that blaze, we should avoid. Just, oh, okay. Hello, things. I I'm gonna try to bait it. Just get you baited. Okay. Um. I got another blaze rod. This one kind of fell down though. I'm trying to bait it. Come on. I'm trying to look, I'm trying to look for Ooh. a staircase. Possible staircase. I'm never gonna be able to get that guy now. Oh, he's coming back. They fly. They float forward. I didn't know they could do that. Okay, I've been playing Bedrock walk. Edition for too long. I'm trying to find all these ways of getting up there. Wolfie, do you want to start making our way back? Uh, yeah, kind of a do. Okay, let's kind of do. Run? What do you mean? I'm not making it back, boys.
right, so the cooling tower is all done. Well, I mean, the, you know, like the frame of the cooling tower is done. This thing is huge and it looks so, so cool. Um, so if we go out here, there's a few more things I want to do. Of course, I need to add the stilts down here and kind of like the base and everything. I'd like to add a little more detail around the top, like maybe some sort of um, catwalk or something around the edge, I think would be kind of cool. Um, I think that would be really, really neat, but uh, I'm pretty happy with this. So yeah, like I said, basalt, tilted basalt, cobble, and then we got the coal, the stone, the iron, or the um, whatever that is, like gray concrete, and then it's cut off at the top by a ring of smooth stone. Um, we'll have a couple more rings of smooth stone in the middle, like single rings um, on each level, but I'm going to work on that later. Uh, but we are pretty much done with this episode because I have been working on this for a few days. I haven't actually uploaded anything on my channel in like three days because uh, I've been gathering resources for and building this. But I've been having a lot of fun on the server hanging out with everybody. So it's been pretty, pretty good times. But uh, let's head over here because I want to show you guys this. This is pretty crazy. I don't think I've ever seen two spawners this close before. Um, and it's right underneath my base, which is awesome because we can... Uh, let's see, let's grab this and put it here so we get rid of this water. Uh, we can make some mob farms down here. So if we head down this way, I'm going to hit my head a few dozen times here. Uh, you can see one's right there. But there's about four spawners down here that I've found so far. So there's three cave spider spawners and a skeleton spawner. Uh, and I figure we'll explore for a second here and see if we can find the others. But uh, there's a skeleton one here. There's a cave spawner one right here. And then there's another cave spawner one off that way a bit and off that way a bit. Now, I haven't really made this area at all safe, um, which is something I still need to do. But I figure we'll sprint through real quick and light it up together, see if we can find anything else. Um, yeah, this is all like right under my base. Like, I'm pretty sure right now we're under the tower. Um, or at least we should be kind of right underneath it. There's more up there. This is a huge mine shaft. Um, it's, I found it with my strip mines the other day. Hey, look at that, some diamond. Let's grab that real quick. I'm up to like, uh, I think I mentioned this earlier in the episode, but I'm up to like 250 diamonds now, um, which is pretty exciting. I'm gonna get rid of that diorite. Um, but yeah, so we have a ton of spawners down here, which we're definitely, I'm gonna come grab all this other materials later. Um, which will definitely set up a farm for, I'm not sure when we'll do that. Um, oh, more diamond. How many diamonds are we going to get while we're down here? This is great. Let's see how many diamonds we can find on camera. That's already seven. Um, which is basically just the equivalent of one vein to be fair, but I think I found this one already. Yeah. So there's one of the other spawners that... No, 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 that's the same one, actually. Uh, oh, I haven't found this yet. Protection one. There's a new chest. Sweet. Um, but yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff down here. I'm going to explore this and kind of clear it out. I'm probably just going to excavate the whole area because I need to see how close the spawners are to see if they're close enough to run them all at once. Uh, if I had to guess, they're probably not. Um, I feel like my luck's not quite that good. Oh, hello. Whoa, uh oh, baby spider. I have died three times now. I fell off that tower three times while trying to build it, unfortunately. Um, prior to that, I had not died, um, which it makes me sad because I was doing pretty well before that. But uh, yeah, we we got taken out. There's a couple more diamond. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's probably going to do it for this episode. I don't think we're going to find much else down here, at least right now, until I start like actually excavating this area. But I just want to show you guys that there were those two spawners right next to each other, because that is definitely like ridiculously close in comparison to what I've seen before. Like we're talking literally like two blocks apart um, right next to one another. There's also an area back over here. Yeah, I guess this just spawned in the middle of this intersection, and it put it here, which is weird. Um, but yeah, I think that is going to do it for this one. So, 
I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, if you would like to check out any of the other members on the server, such as Wolfie and Hazard, who we went to the nether with today, um, all of the links to all of the channels and everything will be down in the description below. I'm going to probably just kind of drive that in the first few episodes, and then uh, I probably won't mention it too much afterwards. But hope you've enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.